This is an area that you may have seen before that I've talked about uh, that died, St. Augustine grass that died because it's too shady. And we had a little accident. We had a big limb fall out of the tree, so now we have a lot more sunlight. In fact, today I may take a few more limbs out of this live oak to give it more sunlight. We're going to plant new St. Augustine here, and uh, we'll show you the whole procedure. The first cut is made underneath the limb. The second cut goes out beyond that cut to remove the tree without it pulling the bark. I'm going to take one more limb out of this tree here. See this, this limb right here going back and, and connecting? I want to cut that out. So we'll have a fairly good area of uh, sunlight. We can actually grow grass for a change in my yard. Um, These uh, grass areas here have been an interesting experiment. We've planted a lot of different zoysias, and we've planted even uh, an experiment of a new bluegrass in the other panel over there. But as you can see, things ha not only haven't worked very well, but nutgrass has come in. We've tried a couple of techniques, but we're going to solve it uh, the old-fashioned way this morning by totally uh, taking it out with a sod cutter and then replacing with new St. Augustine grass. So that for at least a short period of time this summer, I have my, what my wife really wants, and that's for my landscape to look okay for a while instead of just an experiment. Glad that's done. This is my own compost made from all the debris from around the place here. This is the finished compost that's already been sifted and this is how I sift it. This compost is ready to use as a top dressing, for example, on this new sod and to fill in the cracks or to use in uh, bed preparation or as an ingredient in potting soils. The rough material that's left can either go back into the compost pile or can be thrown into to the beds and used as a mulch. One of the things that I like to do after filling in the cracks is to broadcast the same compost across the entire uh, turf area if the budget allows and if you're doing it at home it's a real easy thing to do just do it by hand like this and get a little bit of the compost all the way across then we'll water it all in real well and then the final step will be to roll it the rolling is a lot of people think is done to level it out but it's really done to eliminate the air pockets this is just a preliminary watering in. You really need to get the new sod soaked so that you don't lose any pieces. They can desiccate pretty quickly because the root system is very it's been cut away by the sod cutter. There's roots there, but they're not. It's not the entire root system. So you need to help the new sod along by really getting it moist right after it's laid. Mm -hmm. 